Hello and welcome to your PDA. My name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CFC at your PDA. So today we will be doing some questions from past year NIC exam and the questions were asked from DBMS. So the first is 3NF decomposition is always lossless and dependency preserve. 3NF is always lossless but may or may not be dependency preserve. And next 2NF are same options for but for BCNF. Now when we studied uh, these normal forms 2NF is the smallest, uh, 1NF is the actually smallest normal form, after that there is 2NF, then 3NF, then higher, highest normal form is BCNF. Now when we talk about lossless dependency, all will guarantee lossless decomposition. As far as dependency preserve is concerned, this will guarantee it, this will guarantee it, but this BCNF will not guarantee dependency preserving. And third thing that we study is 0% redundancy over functional dependence. So th these two will not guarantee 0% but BCNF will guarantee 0%. Now in our question it is saying loss 3NF will always lossless and BCNF is always lossless but may or may not be uh, dependency preserved. So S1 and S4 are the correct options. Now while selecting the best normal form that we use so you can see that BCNF will provide you 0% redundancy but if there is some uh, there is some amount of redundancy we can manage with that but we cannot manage to lose our dependencies our functional dependencies so this is the property that we cannot uh, we cannot lose so this is why bcnf is the higher normal form but we prefer 3nf over bcnf this can also be a question in your exam so <clears throat> we always prefer 3nf because Though it may not uh, give you 0% redundancy, there will be some amount of redundancy present in 3NF form, but dependency preserve property is maintained, lossless uh, decomposition property is maintained. So these two properties have higher priority than the 0% redundancy property. So this is why now out of 2NF and 3NF, redundancy in 3NF will be less as compared to 2NF. So best normal form is 3NF and the correct option for our question is S both S1 and S2. 4. Now the next question is every relation is in 3NF is also in BCNF. A relation R in 3NF in every prime attribute of R is fully functionally dependent on every key of R. Every relation in BCNF is also in 3NF and no relation can be both BCNF and 3NF. Now there are some restrictions, there are some rules that you have to follow. So for 2NF you have to follow very less rules for 3NF you have to follow more rules as compared to 2NF and in the BCNF the rules are very strict that uh, the, ru the rule is that uh, if x to y is a functional dependency then x must be a super key. Now as we know that any relation so if a relation is in BS uh, uh, if uh, any relation is in 3NF uh, sorry in BCNF now if a relation is in BCNF this means that the functional dependencies will be of type uh, if x to y is a functional dependency that this means x will be a super key for sure this is the condition for BCNF now if you look to, to uh, the condition for 3NF 3NF gives what condition that x must be a super key if this is not the case then or y must be a prime attribute. Now every relation or every dependency which follows this condition or which follows this rule will always follow this rule because there is an or in between so this will be always be true. So every dependency or every relation which is in BCNF will also be in 3NF and no relation can be in both BCNF and 3NF. No, if a relation is in BCNF then this will uh, that, that relation will also be in 3NF so this is false again this is false uh, this is opposite of C now as far as B is con concerned a relation R is in 3NF if every non prime attribute so it is given that if a relation is in uh, 3NF and this is a non prime attribute so this condition is not true so then the other condition must be true that uh, X must be a super key so every non prime attribute of R is fully functionally dependent on some key of R let's say that you have a relation a b c d and a b and b c are the candidate keys 
सो दिस मीन्स दैट डी शुड डिपेंड ऑन ईदर ए बी और डी शुड डिपेंड ऑन ईदर बी सी सो देर इज नो केस ऑफ डिपेंडेंट ऑन एवरी की ऑफ आर इट शुड बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन सम की ऑफ आर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट ट्रू सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी ना द नेक्स्ट इज कंसिडर द रिलेशन स्कीम ना देर शुड बी ई हेयर ए बी सी डी ई विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विद फॉलोइंग फंक्शन फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज ए टू सी ई बी टू डी एंड ए ई टू D identify the highest normal form uh, satisfied by the relation. Now, in this, first of all, the key will be what will be the key. Now, A is not made by any of the functional dependency. So A will surely be in the key. So if A is in the key, let's find the closure for A. If the closure for A you want to find, it will be A. You with A you can make A. With A you can make C and E. And if you are making E then with A E you can make D so you are not B you are not able to make B also so the if you take A B as a key and find the closure you will find that it will it is making all the elements present so A B is what the candidate key now A B is candidate key so if A B is candidate key and for two N F for 2 nf state we know that the condition is that there should be no partial dependency now if what is no partial dependency let's say that x to y is a functional dependency present in our relation then this means that x should not be the subset should not be a subset of candidate key if x is a subset of candidate key and y is a non prime attribute then this will create a uh, this will create what this will create a partial dependency so if there is no partial dependency then the relation will be in 2nf now if we see the first one a to ce now a is a subset of candidate key a is subset of ab so first condition is met that this is a subset of any candidate key and y c and e are both non prime attributes any attribute which is not present in any candidate key is non prime so the only attributes present in candidate key are a and b so we are going from subset to non prime so this implies that this will be a partial dependency so this relation is not in 2nf so if it is not in 2nf what is left 1nf because if it it is not in 2nf then it will not be possible to make it in 3nf or bcnf so the correct option will be option d 1nf now the next question is consider the relation scheme b a b c d with functional dependencies a to b c and c to d now in this candidate key, key will be a because with a you can make anything a you can make b c from c you can make d so a will be the candidate key in our question now let's check for b c n f first so what b c n f say, say is that if x to y is the uh functional dependency x must be a super key or candidate key so yes in this case this is true but c is not the candidate key so this will fail so b it cannot be in bcnf let's check for 3nf what 3nf says if x to y is the functional dependency this x must x should be a candidate key or super key if this condition is not true then y should be a no prime attribute so either this should be a super key or this should be a prime attribute so this will be true because a is a super key or you can say candidate key so but neither c is candidate key nor d is the prime attribute so it cannot be in 2 3nf after 2nf so 2nf this will be true because it is true for if it is if this is true for bc nf it will be true for 3nf and 2nf also let's check for cd now what 2nf says is there should be no partial dependency now in this a is the super, a is the candidate key so a is a single attribute key so in single attribute key you cannot make any uh what you can say subsets so there is no subset possible so if there is no subset possible this means that there is no partial dependency possible this means that this will hold there is no partial dependency in this if there is no partial dependency in this this means that this relation is in 2 nf so a correct option will be option a so i hope you understood the concept now you may find these questions a little tough or little confusing because 
uh, in such short videos or uh, while we are uh, following the questions, we, can't, we cannot discuss the whole background of the concept. We can only discuss the concept that is being used in the question in order to solve it. But we cannot discuss the concept which led us here. Like how BCNF behave like this, why B, uh, 3NF behave like this, why this is a property of 2NF, how to check 2NF, how to check 3NF. These are the things that you will study when you study the uh, subject as a whole, not just solve the questions. So in order to do that, uh, there, uh, there is one, uh, there is our course going on uh, in which we are, uh, uh, in which we are covering all the syllabus required for NIC, all the type of questions, whether theoretical or uh, numerical type of question and what is the concept that is uh, required in order to solve both type of questions. So uh, you can uh, go to our website and check that out. So I hope you like the video. So for more videos like this, uh, keep watching and keep preparing. Thank you.